The Laowa 85 mm lens, it's small, it's light, but it can be a pain in the ass to light your subject with this lens. Let me explain why and how we're gonna fix it. So I've had the 85 mm lower lens now for a couple of weeks. And when I first started testing it, I had trouble lighting my subjects. What would happen is the light from my flash would end up hitting behind my subject because there's a shadow caused by the flash. So let me just fit this now to my Canon EOS R and I will show you what I'm talking about. So with such a small setup like this, then obviously I want to go with a small flash if possible. So let me put the bonnet diffuser on here. So you can see there from this example, the light is only hitting the very top of the bonnet here, which means we're lighting our subject about here, whereas our subject is actually forward from there, which means it's in shadow. So I'm going to show you how we can fix that. Now, obviously, we can get a big diffuser on top of this flash that comes all down, covers up. Crafty Bells do one. I think AK Diffuser do another one. If you've got such a small lens, why would you put on a massive diffuser on top of your camera, neglecting the fact of the small lightweight lens? You can get a smaller flash that I believe Michael Rydell uses on his channel. You can get that. That should work perfectly well with this bonnet diffuser on the front like that. Again, that's another good setup, which I might look into for the future. So I'm going to show you how I lit this image and this image using a very small setup that only weighs 1,256 grams. So what you gotta do, again, we can get a massive diffuser. If you're okay with a big bulky setup, you can just get a massive diffuser like the Crafty Bell diffuser or the AK diffuser. But I want to take advantage of the small footprint that this lens has. So obviously my Young Nero is not the one to use. So we're gonna get rid of that. And at the same time, I'm also going to take the battery pack off because again, if you're after a small setup, it doesn't make sense to have the battery pack on there. So we're going to get rid of that as well. You can see how we've gone to a very small setup. And I'm going to try and keep it as small as possible. Now my twin macro flash, which is this setup here that you all know from a previous video, that works perfectly with this setup. So let me show you that first. The first problem you're going to run across is your filter thread. For any type of ring flash or twin macro flash, in most cases, the smallest adapter for that particular system is 49 millimeters, whereas the filter thread on this lens is 46. It's easy to do, just pop onto Amazon and get yourself a 46 millimeter, 49 millimeter step up ring. I'm going to pop that onto the lens, and then our adapter for our Godox will simply screw straight onto there. So now I can just slip our gold dock onto the lens and pop on my Crafty Bells diffuser. There we go. And just there we have a nice minimalistic setup for everyday macro when you're out and about. So the way I use this, I mean, it's a little bit slidey. I need to put in some sort of tape or something to stop it doing that. But generally when you're using it, you're going to rest your hand on the front there and then your other hand is going to be on your shutter spurt switch. And then you can brace it, get steady and take your shot. And that works great. And I've been using it like that for several different pictures. Here's an example of a picture that's taken with this exact setup. This is a nine shot focus stacked image of my jumping spider. And it works, it worked great. Again, you can put, you can make improvements, you can get it softer, you can get it harder lights. It's all down to what you want compared to the weight of the setup. We can get this setup even smaller. Let me show you how we're going to do that. We can take the bonnet off and then we're going to unclip the Godox. And then we can remove the adapter altogether. And what I'm going to need to do, I need to steal one of the flush heads off of this rig. And this is the type of setup I would do if I'm not doing absolutely serious macro work, so such as work that's not going to go into my portfolio. I'm just snapshotting uh, insects on that because we're only going to be using one light, which means we're going to be needing to overpower it. On the plus side, if the battery runs down, I can always swap it over for the other one. So there's a plus point to that. But here's the key. The key is the trigger 
for these lights. What I've done is I've glued a cold shoe adapter onto the front of this trigger. So we're going to place that on the camera now. And before we put the flash on, I need to put the uh, bonnet on. And on a side note, when there's a bonnet on the front of it, you still have access to your aperture control, which is great. That was one of the complaints I had on a quite a lot of manual lenses is when you've got an aperture control at the front and you put a bonnet diffuser on there, you can't get to the actual aperture. Well, on this lens, you can. But now we've done that, we're going to take one of the cold shoe adapters from the Godox, slip that into the light and pop that onto our cold shoe adapter. And then we have that setup. And that setup is very, very light and it works well. It's not the best, but it will do the job. And here's some images that I've taken using this exact setup. Now it looks a bit funky when you're out and about. You get a few looks from people because of this weird like contraption. But apart from that, it does the job. So those are some lighting setups for the new lower 85mm f5.6 2 times ultra macro lens. Any questions about any of the setups I've showed you, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name's Stuart Wood and I'll see you on the next video. Any questions? No. I got that the wrong way around, didn't I? Do that again because I said see you and didn't point. No, I didn't thank him. Fuck's sake. I also wrote this down on the back there, I know, because it's the same on every video.